Hello everyone, I am Eva Patil working with UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology and Research Center as research assistant. Today here I am going to talk about relative risk and absolute risk. What is relative risk? Relative risk is the ratio of probability of an outcome in exposed group to the probability of an outcome in an exposed group. It shows the relationship between exposure and outcome. Relative risk is used in ecological data, cohort study, random clinical trial, adverse drug reaction and intervention studies. It requires two binary variable. One is an event occurred or not and another is exposure group, exposed and unexposed group. How to interpret the relative risk? Relative risk greater than one indicates the increased risk in the exposure group in comparison to the unexposed group. Relative risk less than one indicates the exposure have less risk than the unexposed group. And relative risk is equal to one means both have same risk. How to calculate the relative risk? Here I have shown one table. Here predictor and outcome variable uh, relative risk is equal to A upon A plus B uh, upon C upon C plus per D. Let's take one example over here. Uh, incidence in exposed group upon incidence in unexposed group. Uh, that is, I have taken an example of uh, lung disease present and absent in the event group and in the exposure group, uh, smoker and non-smoker. So the incidence in the exposed group that is 800 divided by 1000. So it is 0.8 and incidence in unexposed group that is 40 divided by 2000 that is 0 0.02. Converting this decimal into the percentage uh, 80 by two that means 40%. It means that uh, in the exposure group there is a 40% risk of having a lung disease in comparison to the unexposed group. Uh, RR can, relative risk can become extremely large when the chances of an event in the unexposed group is low. The, uh, here I have taken one example that uh, uh, it is published by Vogel Cheng et al. in 2015. His aim was to quantify the mortality risk of infection in dialysis and kidney transplant patient. In his result, he found 82-fold higher uh, with the uh, infection-related mortality in dialysis and uh, kidney transplant patient in comparison to the general population, means unexposed group. And uh, uh, he, in his study, he found that women each aged between 20 to 29 years, the mortality rate ratio was high is 565, meaning that the woman in that age category who were treated with dialysis had a 565 times higher uh, risk of dying from infection than women of same age in the general unexposed group. The number is tremendously high. That is due to the uh, occur occurrence of the death from the infection that is very low in the general population, that is 0 0.01 per 1,000 patient per year in general population. Most of the time, we use the relative risk in the meta-analysis study. There is one drawback that they do not give a true reflection of how much benefit the individual will, would derive from the intervention as they cannot discriminate between small and large treatment effect. They usually tend to overestimate the benefit of intervention. And for that reason, most of the drug company uses relative risk. Of the, this drawback can overcome by the absolute risk is uh, that reflects the baseline risk better and that discriminate between small and large treatment groups. Now going to the absolute risk. Okay, what is absolute risk? Risk can be expressed in absolute terms by the absolute risk difference. It's also called attributable risk. Absolute risk is the number of people experiencing an event in relation to the, 
that population at risk it is also individual risk of some event happening in that particular group how to calculate absolute risk that is absolute risk in the exposed group that is positive event in the unexposed exposed group upon total number of cases in the exposed group and uh, absolute risk in uh, unexposed group that is same uh, positive event in the unexposed group divided by total number of cases in the unexposed group formula to calculate absolute risk difference most of the time we shows the absolute risk different attributable risk that is subtracting the incidence risk among an unexposed group from the incidence risk among exposed group that is a upon a plus b minus c upon c plus d i have taken one example that shows you the difference between the relative risk and the absolute risk in the figure 1 and in the next slide in both the figure there are 60 and 60 subjects are present in both the group the black black shows the outcome of interest and white shows the, the, the cases didn't have any outcome of interest here in the uh, figure 1 there is a lesser number of outcome in comparison to the figure 2 here the relative risk is 1.67 means 67% relative risk over here and the cases are very outcome is very low and absolute risk over here is 2% and uh, it is showing lesser a uh, lesser outcome and the lesser absolute risk over here in the figure 2 there is a outcome outcome is higher outcome of interest is higher in comparison to the group Uh, figure one here the relative risk is same as in figure one, and the absolute risk is twenty four percent. So here, as the outcome increases, the absolute risk increases, and the relative risk is same in both the, uh, both figure one and figure two. So the relative risk sometimes gives us an incomplete. incomplete data incomplete result in comparison to the absolute risk that gives us precise result and that's why most of the drug company uses and shows us relative risk that so and so drug reduces the incidence by uh, 50 60% but if we uh, count the absolute risk if we analyze their absolute risk then it is uh, it shows the precise data thank you